One is that we forgot our sunglasses. <laughs> Two is we slept in. Mm -hmm. It's like 4.30, so we started the vlog very late for a Saturday. Yeah, what happened? especially we... a day we were intending on starting the vlog at 3 a.m. <laughs> um, we slept through our alarms. We did not make it to the 10K, the 10K for Run Disney. So got a haircut. We got a haircut. I did some work. I did dishes. Made some dinner. Breakfast and um, dinner. And now we are going to see Macklemore tonight. Yeah, but we're going to get in line much earlier today than we did last week. But I think we're going to see how the, the crowd is and see if it's worth us going to hop on a, a ride or two beforehand. Right. Plus we might get a lanyard. I don't know, guys. We're still trying to acclimate to being a U UOAP. Alrighty, so this holding area is already closed off and packed. So we're gonna see if this loading area is also closed off. Um, so we're gonna go check out if the single rider for her. Wait, but first we're not waiting. Yeah, we're not waiting. We're gonna go there when it opens. Say a prayer, and we're gonna just see where we'll be. We're, if we're, if we decided like we'd like to be closer than last week, but if we are where we were last week, we'd be happy. I see people out having fun for Mardi Gras. <laughs> so we're gonna go and see how the grid got flying. But I see someone familiar, so hold on. Woo! This is fun. We didn't see this last week. Yeah. Look at this guy. Hello, happy Mardi Gras. I think I've seen you guys in the parade. Also, when is this thing ever gonna go off? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone else was waiting, so I pulled my camera out. I was wondering, like, are these people have been more dedicated and have waited? Like, what's the deal, Dragon? Hey, Katie and Megan, put a comment down below when you watch this and let me know if this dragon's got a name or any other Potterheads that are as legit as my friends who are from Swish and Flick podcast. And the verdict, 50 minute wait. 15 minute wait, are they doing single rider? It looks like they're doing single rider. It was like blurry, but I kind of got it. I kind of got it. So we didn't put the camera in the locker because it cost $2. Put it in our pocket. It's not a bag or something yeah. big like a wand. You yeah. can't bring wands on this. Yes. But do you know if you've been watching and seen our, our water park, you know what this is. But the line of adventure from Typhoon Lagoon. Yeah. This has a line of adventure. I consider this archway the line of adventure because here we are like in the bank and then you go like where it gets all like spooky and tunnelly. What? First weekend, and we're back here, we got nothing going on, we're feeling good, we're going to Really? This is news to me? Yeah. You feel happy? What? You feel happy? I feel happy because the ride is awesome, and it's hot out. Like, it yeah. feels like Florida again where you leave. It's getting nighttime, but we leave, and it feels hot. Yeah. We did realize that that was only my second time going on it, Peter's my third, time. since the very first time we went on it, so... We went single rider? And it was like a 35 minute wait, which was the bond longer than we expected, but they kept us together. Yeah, we've never been separated in a single rider line at Universal. Uh oh. This looks like the line for ice cream, and we said we were gonna get ice cream. Just a humble ice cream shop. It's not how we expected it to look. It's, it's like vanilla. Like a scoop. No, it's soft serve. <laughs> Look at that creepy thing. They're doing Deathly Hollows. That must be, isn't that death? It looks like death just cut the cloak. Oh. So Sarah, you've I already had- I wanna go over there, but we'll be back. You've already had a good amount. I mean, I guess it's called butter beer. I was gonna say it's like butter. It's like so smooth. This is so like up your alley. Like this is like your flavor. Like it is so good and rich and- Look, it's the poodles. We always see those oh, yeah. poodles in Epcot. Yeah. That's cool they're if they come here too. Yeah. yeah. Okay, everybody, calm down and breathe. Hold on to your ice cream, Sarah, because an evil dude is out and about. Megatron. It's like lots of when you see lots of. Oh yeah, it is like when you see lots of. Why would you? I am. You have something. 
something on your mind. So remember when we said that this was gonna fill up quicker than Gavin Nagar? We're we're here like 30 minutes, 45 minutes earlier than we were for Gavin Nagar. And this place is full already. We like didn't say this before. But last year we were really hurt that we didn't have our passes to see Macmore and when this new lineup like was announced, that was like the first person I looked for us on. Like we almost we almost like credit carded passes last year to do this, but we were like, let's be responsible. We'll go next year. And now we're here. Yeah. We got one hour left. One sweaty hot hour left. Hopefully it, it flies by. Good evening, my beautiful people. A little louder, say, hey, oh. You ready? Let's go. What you know about rocking a wolf by your night? What you know in the back, wearing a fur box? Skin, I'm taking, I'm taking, I'm searching right through that luggage. One man's trash. Come on up. What's your name? Heather, make some noise for Heather, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Heather, have you ever played guitar before? Yes. yes, you do. Okay, then we're gonna plug it in, okay? You have no idea what song it is. We're not gonna plug it in, okay. <laughs> Heather, hit it. And you know, we were here today, we had such a good time. The experience, it was just better than Disney World where I went the day before. It was just better. I love Shrek. But my daughter doesn't really understand like brand allegiances. She was wearing a princess. She's three and a half. And for the first like two years of her life, she didn't like Frozen. About a month ago, she found a new love and passion, and that is Elsa. Before the show, she was like, Daddy, I was like, what songs do you want me to do? She was like, I want you to do Fire, like she loves that song for some reason, so I do that song for her. And I was like, what else do you want me to do? And she was like, uh, Frozen, Elsa, let it go. And I was like, baby, that's a different studio. You realize I'm never going to be invited back here, right? Please don't put this on YouTube. <laughs> one and a two. And a one, two, three. The snow glows white on the mountain. The pain to be seen. Can see or don't feel. Don't let them know. Well, now. And I just want to say that regardless of the color of your skin, regardless of your sexual orientation, regardless of the bathroom 
money you choose to use. Regardless of where your passport says that you are from or your documents say that you were born, you are welcome here tonight at this show and all shows in the future. Period. As human being experience that we are having is better when it is diverse. This song is about that. It's about letting go of fear, having faith in humanity, and our neighbors, whether they look like us or not, embracing life. This song is called Same Love. Let's go. about Universal Studios Orlando Mardi Gras in have been absolutely incredible tonight and because my daughter is here with me let's go I feel glorious glorious you know I'm I love you guys. I will see you soon. Get home safe. Thank you, Orlando. Wow. That show is awesome. It was so good. Everything was so good. Sarah and I were so upset because Sarah, we're both huge fans, but Sarah's like a mega fan over here. We're so upset last year when we couldn't go. Yeah. Like, 
the projections or like the screen on the back and the lights and just like his presence on stage and the, the band like that he was he with talked, yeah right the live instruments and his daughter the that crowd just, yeah it was awesome. he's he's a good like regardless of what kind of music you like in every genre of music there are good performers and yeah. he is a good performer. He stayed on the stage like a good five minutes after the show, just like Tossing finding out. anything he could on stage to throw to people. Well, he, like, he had a stack of t-shirts. Yeah. But <laughs> he's awesome. Yeah. Good show. If you ever get a chance to see Macklemore concerts, we highly suggest it. Awesome. And I think our car, I think our car's down that way. What the heck? I forged gruesome enough. <laughs> and now it's nighttime and raining. This is a recipe for disaster. Oh gosh. I'm just happy this didn't happen at the concert, although that would have kind of been epic. We got so many birthdays today. My cousin Aaron and Chelsea. Oh gosh, this is so blurry. Sometimes we go through life feeling lost and strange and other, even in great crowds of people we know. And then once in a while we meet someone and our heart says, oh, there you are. Eventually you find your tribe. Believe that. Enough. You know who your tribe is? These two little chickens. She likes to perch on my shoulder. Um, something we didn't explain tonight is the Macklemore song Downtown is one of our all-time favorites and it's one of our all-time favorites because of the Ballingers. <laughs> They're like parody. parody of the actual song and we'll link them both so down below. So their song was Playground and yeah. his song is Downtown. Downtown. And if Sarah didn't put it in during the concert, she'll put it in right here. But we need to get up in three hours. And, and Eve Eva's, needs a belly rub. She is, look at this. This is when she like slowly rolls over on her stomach and is like, please. Weird vlog today, a little bit, a little different. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, tomorrow will be more structured work. Tomorrow is going to be a busy day. Yeah. And we're leaving on Tuesday. So we have like... We only have two more full days. Because if you don't count Tuesday as a full day. Yeah. We only have Sunday and Monday. We only have Monday. two more Florida vlogs before like our travel vlog on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me. It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.